Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 15 3510 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your RAM. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you see there's three screws along this bottom edge, three screws along this top edge, and then one on each side near the center. Now these screws don't actually come out of the bottom case, they'll just loosen. And then you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they'll scratch your computer case a lot less than a metal pry tool will, but they're strong enough to be able to take this bottom case off. So go around the outside seam of the bottom case and gently but firmly pry it up all the way around. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You can damage some internal components, just keep it on the edge. And if you get stuck going in one direction and you can't get it up, leave it alone, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. After you get your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a quick computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet will go a long way to help you damaging things in your computer. If you need any help with tools or supplies, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for the Latitude 3510, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have all the tools and supplies that I would use on this computer, as well as all of these replacement and upgrade parts here if you needed help finding those. Now, before I touch anything inside a computer, guys, I always either remove or at least unplug my main computer battery. It makes it safer to work on the computer when as little power as possible is running through it. So first I'll show you how to remove or unplug your battery. Now to get this battery out, you have these four screws near each of the white triangles. And then the battery comes up here and plugs into the motherboard right here. So you have a choice of where you want to unplug the battery from. If you're going to unplug it from this top connector there, um, as with any cables and wires in a computer, guys, try not to pull on the wires if at all possible. Try to just manipulate the plug. So this plug is easy. It's got a grip on either side. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool and wiggle that right out of that port. If you want to unplug it from here, that's just a snap. So that snaps right off. And that's how you would get your battery out. Okay, so now that the main battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. These are your two RAM ports right here. The way that RAM works is there's a spring-loaded metal arm on either side of your RAM stick. The way to get your RAM out is you pry those metal arms away from each other, away from the RAM stick gently. The RAM stick will then release. Oftentimes it'll pop up a little bit and then you can grab it and pull it out of this port right here. Now to get the RAM back in, as you notice, there's a long side of the port and a short side of the port. So you can only get the RAM stick in one way, the correct way. And then once it's flush and nice and straight, you see the gold here is nice and straight. Once it's flush inside the port, you press down in the center, and then these arms will latch onto it and hold it in place. Most of you will only have one stick if your computer's stock. This computer will max out at around 32 gigabytes of RAM. So that means you can max it out with a 16 gigabyte stick in each port. Now the RAM for this was a Sodium DDR4, uh, 2400 megahertz for the Intel Celeron model, and then 2667 megahertz for the i3, i5, or i7. So as mentioned before, the link below in the description with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer, I'll try to have a recommendation for a single 16 gigabyte stick. If this one went bad and you're just replacing it, you don't really care to upgrade. And for those of you that want to upgrade, I'll try to have one or two recommendations for a 32 gigabyte kit, which would include two 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM. But that is how you would access your RAM in a Dell Latitude 3510. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. 
you can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.